Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome to video number 141 on my channel. And today we're going to learn how to use Google Image Search for eBay research. This is a great tool if you have an object and you don't even know what it is or how to start describing it or some type of clothing that you're not sure what it is or the style or a, a logo or a clothing label. Any of those things will work. So before we get started, let's thank our sponsor, the Basic eSales Bookkeeping Spreadsheet, bookkeeping designed for eBay sellers by an eBay seller, tracks your inventory, sales, expenses, mileage, and can be used on a PC or a Mac. Check the link below and the discount code for 25% off. Okay, so Google Image Search. You want to go to images.google.com and it will bring up this screen and this is how to do it on uh, a regular computer not mobile there is a way to do this on mobile um, and I will do a link to this article here and uh, so you can read about that if you want to know how to do it on mobile I don't think that it is usable on every single type of phone um, so you can do further research on that if you have um, a need to use this on your phone while you are out in the field looking for things to sell. But basically what you're going to do is you're just going to drop your image in here. Um, you can either do it by um, searching your files or I'm just going to drag and drop here. And so in this case I've got a vase and it says best guess for this image is a vase which is correct but I want more information than that so I'm going to look down here at the visually similar images here's the exact one and I'm going to click on that image again and it's going to take me to Pinterest where someone has a board with uh, Wedgwood which is what this is and it says Wedgwood Portland Jasperware vase that's enough information so that I can go back and start researching this look at completed and get more information on this item so let's do another one um, clothing logos are a big one and sometimes the clothing labels won't have the brand written out in a word it's just a symbol so like this one here if you don't know this one uh, that is Tory Burch it says best guess for this image Tory Burch, Burch phone case well it may or may not be a phone case but at least now you know what this is and you can do further research on it whether it's a piece of clothing shoes handbag whatever it might be so um, that's another use for this um, you may have a, a plush or some other object or figurine that um, maybe you have seen it before but you can't think of the name and that is a great use for this especially if you can get it to work on your phone when you're out shopping um, so let's put this one in there and this is showing us that it is Stitch from uh, Lilo and Stitch so you can go to the Disney store there and see yes that is what it is from the movie Lilo and Stitch so this is just really a great tool if you don't know where to start um, in my Facebook group we really encourage you to do your own research before asking and it's not because no one wants to help you it's because you empower yourself when you understand how to do things for yourself so if you're constantly waiting for other people to answer your questions and help you identify things and make decisions for you that's not a very effective way to run your business um, you need to be able to find the information you need to do your listing and so you can get your items done listed and move on to the next thing so that's what this is about is empowering you with all the tools necessary to do this business and uh, Google Images is a free tool all you need is a computer and an internet connection um, this is also great for hallmarks on um, ceramic you know silver that type of stuff so that um, because a lot of those come with no words either they're just symbols or um, logos and it's really hard to identify those so you can drop those in and see 
Um, <laughs> this is actually wrong. Uh, this is actually a logo for Limoges, which is um, ceramics, um, fine china, that type of stuff, porcelain. And so this one is not correct. And I did this on purpose because I wanted to show you that for the hallmarks, uh, Google Images may not be your best resource. What you want to do is go over here to Covels, which uh, they are the best resource for antiques and collectibles. Uh, they they put out a, a huge thick guide every year. It's a book that um, if you've never looked at them, you can go to the library and check them out. They're really fun to flip through and it's a great way to learn um, about things to sell and what to look for. I have them all over my home, um, you know, in the TV room, in the kitchen. I have one put everywhere so that I can just pick it up and look at it and learn something new anytime. But basically you want to go to Covels.com and you want to look at the hallmarks and you can just um, look these up by uh, the words and initials or what the hallmark shape is. So it's like got like birds and banners or crowns, that type of thing. So if we go to L and look for Limoges, let's see where it is. There's a lot of L's. Or actually we can search, I think. Yep, there it is. It'll say like dinnerware. And so, you know, here's there's several different hallmarks for um, Limoges and other brands as well so they've changed them over the years so this is really a better resource and there are many more resources this uh, I didn't mean for this to become a video about um, hallmarks but I just wanted to mention that sometimes Google image search is wrong so you know use this with um, caution <laughs> don't you know do a little bit more research go on eBay look at completed get an idea of what it is you're looking for so I hope that helps you with learning how to use Google Image Search. Try this, play with it, bookmark it, use it frequently. It's very helpful, it's very fast, and you don't have to wait for a person to answer your question. You can figure this out on your own, which makes your business more efficient, and time efficiency means more money. So let me know what you think. Have a great day on eBay. Bye.